body, so we already know that. All right. Next. Muscle weakness that begins in the hip, pelvis, and leg, which is somewhat hard for me. Like, I to run and jump and climb things. But that's about it for that part. Difficulty standing. Sometimes I, I'm standing, sometimes I go. What do I say? Oh yeah, sometimes I wobble back and forth. Unsteady waddling gait. I really don't have that. Walking on the toes or balls of the feet. <clears throat> I still somewhat do that. Clumsiness falling often. I used to do that more when I was little. Don't fall as much now. I don't fall at all, really. Sometimes. Is that the teacher? Yeah. All right. All right. Back to the slides. Clumsiness. Oh wait. Already did that. <clears throat> Trouble climbing the stairs. Yeah, I still have trouble climbing the stairs. Difficulty rising from a laying or sitting position. Not hard for me. The only hard thing is getting up off the floor. Larger than normal calves that are sometimes painful. My calves used to hurt me when I was little, but not as much now than they do. Learning disabilities and behavioral problems. Can't really explain much of that. Scoliosis of the spine. Don't have that. Breathing problems that may result in the use of a ventilator. Don't need that. <clears throat> All right. I'm done with that side. Does anybody have any questions so far? All right. Maybe towards the end, let me know if there are. Let's continue. So, like I said to the last class I taught, I'm not really a well, not taught, but explain this to. I'm not really a scientist, so I do not know. I mean, I do not know how to explain it. But here you can see it shows a normal karyotype and a Duchenne muscular dystrophy karyotype. See how the Duchenne muscular dystrophy karyotype is different from this one. It's basically all I can explain. All right. This one, there's a lot for this one. <coughs> Here's stuff that I can explain. Currently, the only approved treatment for Duchenne is, a, is steroid therapy. I I take the steroids still. I mean, now, always have. Ma, do you think I explained that good? We'll finish that paragraph and then you can personalize it. Like All right, you did here's last time. more. Hold on. Excuse me. All right, here are the side effects. But this therapy has side effects, such as weight gain, puffy cheeks, mood and anxiety disorders. Excuse me. Early osteoporosis. Is that right, Mom? Mm-hmm. It's like a bone problem. Right? Thinning of your bones. Oh, yeah, I, I don't have that. Cataracts. How do you say it? Glaucoma. Glaucoma. Gla what? Glaucoma. Glaucoma. I don't have cataracts or glaucoma. Reduced growth in children. Compressed immune. Com compromised. Oh, compromised immune system, among other symptoms. So, yeah, if you guys were wondering, I'm s small and I don't actually look the age that I'm about to say I am. I'm actually 14 years old. And I don't look it. But it's because of the steroids. That's why. <clears throat> 